Here's an amazing story. A few weeks ago, two medical students had just gotten married in Montana. They were on their way to the reception, still in their tux and gown, when they saw an accident. Without hesitation, they pulled over and helped save a young girl's leg. Joining us from Billings for an interview are Jake and Eric uh, Rinker and 14-year-old Taylor Osgood, whose leg was severely injured. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, here's my question. How'd the wedding go first? Good. Good? Good. Yeah, Erica, <laughs> yep. did Jake remember his vows? I mean, did all everything went over? Were you guys nervous at all? <laughs> no, he did perfect. He did perfect. Okay. I was a little bit nervous. Uh, <laughs> you know, looking at this picture right there, you look like you might be a little bit nervous. So the marriage goes, yeah. the marriage ceremony goes without a hitch. There you are, perfect couple, walking outside the church. You got the flowers. You're all dressed up. You get in the cars to go to the reception. And then what happened, Erica? Um, we got in the car and we were driving by and Jake noticed um, that there was a rafting bus stalled and right after that we saw Taylor on the ground and Jake asked if he could help. So you guys jump out and what kind of condition was Taylor in when, when you got to her? Uh, she was um, laying there, she was bleeding quite a bit from her foot and so there was an EMT on scene that was starting to help with blood control and whatnot and then we started helping her. And what kinds of, uh, how, did, how did you treat her leg? Because the injury apparently was pretty severe. Yeah, so um, we assessed her motor and sensation and um, we exposed her leg a little bit more. We cut her up her pant leg just a little bit to see if there's any other injuries. Mm -hmm. And then um, we, she couldn't feel her toes or wiggle her toes at the time and so just readjusted her foot and then she could feel her toes again wow. and then started with blood control. <laughs> Taylor, how lucky do you feel that Jake and Erica came along at exactly the right time? I felt pretty lucky. I felt like there were like angels watching over me. Oh God. How's your foot doing? Is it gonna be okay? Yeah, it's doing really good now. All right, some people suggest that had you not come along at the right time, Jake and Erica, that uh, uh, Taylor's foot might have been uh, in trouble. She was bleeding a lot, for sure, and it was pretty tore up at the time, so whether or not the doctors here were really good, so right. um, I think we helped it, though. That's great. Here's, here's my question. So you stop, you're the Good Samaritans, you tend to Taylor. Did you go on to the reception then? We did. Yeah, we went right up. <laughs> <laughs> no blood, no blood stains on the dress, no, no, no. nobody's the worse for wear? No. <laughs> when I took some pictures and had a good time. And yeah. had a good time. And we're looking at you smashing the ceremonial wedding cake into each other's noses. Oh. And <laughs> it's a good picture. It's a good picture. Boy, you're going to have a story to tell your grandkids, I'll tell you what. Thank you so we much. Are for taking the time to speak with us. Taylor, I'm glad you're feeling better, and uh, you'll have stories to tell, too, about the amazing doctor couple that stopped on the way home, on the way to the reception. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good morning. Thanks, Thank you, too. Thank you. All right, be well.